Why is the Philippine military 100 times better than the Chinese military? Even though China has a larger arsenal and many more active military personnel, this question confuses even the top military analysts and experts. Some of you might think that military power directly depends on the size of the arsenal. But is this really true? The Chinese military is one of the most powerful and largest military forces in the world. The PLA has approximately 2 million active members, making it the largest force in terms of manpower. There are about 500,000 reservists and substantial militia force that can be mobilized if necessary. China's official defense budget for 2024 is about $230 billion, second only to America. This substantial investment allows for modernization and expansion of military capabilities. The Chinese military's strength is characterized by its large and well-equipped forces, substantial budget, rapid modernization, and expanding global influence. China's military hardware is impressive, with advanced fighter jets, large naval fleets, and lots of ground force equipment. It likely has one of the world's largest tank fleets, a strong air force with thousands of aircraft, and a rapidly expanding navy with aircraft carriers and nuclear submarines. It's estimated that by 2030, the Chinese Navy will be the number one Navy in the world, surpassing even the United States. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Dave Romes, and I'm currently living in the Philippines. I've recently teamed up with incredible Filipinos and a fellow Canadian who share a common goal, which is spreading the truth about the Philippines and showcasing it to the world. Our main target is the global audience. I consider the Philippines my second home, and that's why we're deeply committed to this mission. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories. Give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends to spread the truth. You might be wondering how the Philippine military could compare to China's, especially considering what we've said so far about the Chinese military. But it's important to remember that a large arsenal does not always mean it's the best quality. Quantity and quality are not the same. Quantity does not guarantee quality. Some experts say that China might not maintain its equipment well. Having a lot of gear or equipment is one thing, but keeping it in top condition and ready to use at any time is a different thing. Also, you might want to ask yourself a, an important question. Are the Chinese military personnel properly trained to handle this large arsenal, especially with the rapid changes in their military technology? Can they effectively use and maintain this high-tech equipment? Are they ready to adapt quickly to new types of warfare? Military strength involves more than just having equipment and gear and personnel. It's a complicated mix where things like real combat experience and the quality of the forces are very important. On the other hand, the Philippines has a smaller military. But again, size is not everything. A strong military is not just about equipment and number of personnel. The Philippine military is known for high quality gear, which they get from America. And of course, you know that America is known for its top notch equipment. The Philippine military equipment, while not as abundant, is well maintained and used wisely. Filipino soldiers are well trained and dedicated, ready to handle any challenge. Furthermore, the Philippines regularly trains with major powers like America, which has extensive experience in warfare, which it gained from its military adventures around the world. But it's not only about equipment and personnel. Strategy is key. It's also about the human element of warfare. 
the ability to adapt, think quickly, and make important decisions during battles. The Philippine military is strong in these areas. Why? Because it fought many wars, both within the Philippines and overseas. Remember the Battle of Yeltong. The Battle of Yeltong fought from April 22nd to 23rd, 1951. During the Korean War, it happened near the village of Yeltong in central South Korea. This battle was part of the bigger fight for control over important areas on the Korean Peninsula. Despite being greatly outnumbered, Filipino troops showcase incredible bravery and resilience. Also, the Filipino spirit plays a big role. Their resilience, determination, and strong sense of duty, these traits define the Philippine military and have helped them through many conflicts and challenges. Furthermore, the Philippine military has a deep sense of unity. When facing tough situations, they come together, support each other, and work as a team. So even if the Philippine military doesn't have as many troops as China, they excel in many other important areas. Their focus is on quality instead of numbers. The focus is on strategies, smart strategies, and their strong spirit make them a powerful force that China cannot resist. It's clear now why a smaller force like the Philippines might seem stronger. War is not just about the quantity of soldiers or quantity of equipment. It's also about experience, being able to adapt, plan and act under pressure, which comes from real combat experience. Filipinos have resisted three colonial powers for nearly 400 years, gaining valuable experience that's hard to match. China has not experienced any colonization by three powerful imperial powers, America, Spain, and Japan. China, despite having one of the largest armies in the world, has not been in a major conflict since the late 20th century. Their last big battle was the Sino-Vietnamese War, which ended in 1978. Compare that with the conflicts that the Philippines has been engaging in since 1500s. China lacks the real combat experience. Drills and simulations cannot replace actual combat situations. On the other hand, the Philippines has faced many internal and external conflicts in recent decades. Don't forget, the Philippines recently, in 2017, faced insurgencies, rebellions, and territorial disputes. This has resulted in a battle-tested, combat-ready force. They've become skilled in asymmetric warfare, meaning they can effectively compete against larger or better equipped enemies. Don't forget, Filipinos resisted three colonial powers, powerful colonial powers. Their strategies and tactics come from real experience and necessity, which cannot be duplicated in training exercises. Final thoughts. The Philippines may have fewer troops, but it focuses on quality of its personnel and equipment. Its soldiers are well-trained, well-experienced, and motivated, and their equipment is well-kept and used effectively. It's worth saying it again. It's not just about having the most soldiers or equipment. What matters is how well those resources are used. Do you think the Philippine military is better than the Chinese military? If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons so you don't miss any future updates.